The success of the web comes partly from a constant increase in enabling the full range of human expression. Web designers have transformed our world with ever richer user experiences. Anders Walquist is the CEO and co-founder of the production company, creative partner, Be Real. And he will talk to us about some of the defining moments in web design and storytelling and in what lies ahead in his talk, Stories and Power, and We Power Stories. Anders. Another presentation. I think so, but I'm not on the right channel in into the system. I think number four. Yeah. But my 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 slide is not there. This is your title slide. Okay. Let's click them. Ah, there we are. Now let's click. Sound. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm Anders Wahlquist, born in Sweden, living in New York City, moving to Berlin, Germany. First of all, I'm very honored to be here today to celebrate the anniversary. Happy birthday. As I co-founded a digital advertising company, Be Real, 15 years ago, I will focus on the beauty of the web, created by stories told on the base of technology. When we started in 1999, the web was a lackluster place in our eyes. We came from TV commercials, and we were used to create big experiences in a controlled environment. On the web, we tried to create seamless experiences by pushing technology to do things it was not intended to do. We skinned players, we rounded off all designs, we used lots of video, and full screen beautiful images. We also created a lot of games for every device from consoles to 2G phones, from just for fun to gamified brand experiences. In 2008, we produced a game changer, one of the first, I think, truly emotional inter uh, experiences on the web. Hotel 6 to 6 was a horror story in shape of a game, using webcam, cell phone, video, and real time rendering to scare the crap out of 40 millions of players. We used every trick in the horror story book, all for the benefit of selling Doritos chips. <laughs> Hotel 6 to 6 was also the first time one of our products made social media explode with comments and user-generated content. These were all flash years. Flash, we loved flash. 
Flash gave us the opportunity to control the user experience in a way that we remembered and appreciated from our TV past. After the launch of the iPad, Flash started to lose ground. We slid three years back in terms of possible expressions when we started exploring HTML5. The first big project we did was the Wilderness Downtown. There are no slides, it should be black. Don't worry. <laughs> For Arcade Fire and Google Chrome, in collaboration with director Chris Milk, you entered your childhood address into the browser, and with the help of Google Earth and Street View, the whole music video played as a personalized experience on the street where you grew up. Wilderness Downtown as a process was a three months always on arm wrestling between artistic ambition and technological constraints. To tell a story as impactful as possible while pushing the technological barriers is our constant challenge. The big takeaway for us outside an award-winning project was a technology that we kept on experimenting with and which is now hopefully going to make it into a professional and a consumer tool for video production. Another direction we toyed with earlier was how the web would move outside the device and into reality. Test driving real cars from any browser worldwide is one example of how outside experiences combine well with the World Wide Web. Shooting gooey stuff from a real robot on a Facebook page to hit real clothes on a revolving, rotating clothes rack in Stockholm Central Station to win them after they are whitewashed in our client's detergent is another example. While these examples show outside browser events, the beauty inside will show an experiment, storytelling over different media. Both in production and in presentation, the web is empowering us to tell a beautiful story well and to bring the audience in from wherever they are and with choices for them to interact in different depths. This is the strange story of Alex, a man who wakes up every day in a different body. And for a while, that was okay. Alex kept a daily record of his odd life on his computer, which accompanied him everywhere he went. One day, though, Alex fell in love. And that is when everything changed. How could he have a relationship if he always looked different on the outside? You never had a girlfriend? We had girlfriends, a lot of girlfriends. Each one, only for a night. The Beauty Inside, inspired by Intel Inside, featuring the Toshiba Ultrabook, starring Tova Grace, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and the audience. The movie was aired in six weekly episodes, and because Alex looked different every day, anyone in the audience could play him and be featured in the film. Each episode contained a few webcam diaries in which real fans actually wrote and acted out some of Alex's most intimate moments in the movie. I called her three times a day. I hung up every time. And in the end, the audience helped give Alex hundreds of faces. This love story by two technology companies reached 70 million views. It got strangers discussing their own sense of identity. All while celebrating the fact that it's what's inside that counts. She was right. I would see her again. But she would never see me. So many are looking for the future of storytelling. And the web has a penchant for absorbing media from plain text to WebGL. Where we are now searching the web for stories, the web will increasingly be the origin, origin for stories. The web will be the entertainment forum, not the channel. When you tell stories on the web, don't treat technology responsibly. Those who dare to push technology are the future of storytelling. And the more we push, the more powerful the medium. 
I will show some other examples representing the beautiful web in different ways. Saro, a boy at age five, got lost playing on a train in Calcutta, India, then got adopted to Tasmania, way south of Australia, with the help of Google Earth. 25 years later, he localized buildings he remembered from his childhood and thus found his way back to his family. It's a real story powered by the web. This is a French campaign site, a game where I had to scroll fast and forever to keep swimming after falling off a boat to show the importance of wearing a life vest. Quite torturing. As you fight physically with the scrolling, you get virtually into the situation. Visually beautiful, on concept for the advertiser, and it creates real fear. Johnny Cash interactive video by Aaron Coblin and Chris Milk by allowing fans to draw frames for the video. It was one of the first crowdsourcing user-generated websites. Melancholic and strong, like the man in black himself, and pushing the album directly to number three on Billboard. These companies and others like them are life alterers in business and behavior, online and offline, and also represent the beautiful web. Real life is now altered to fit life on the web, in the web. Modern life is enhanced by the opportunities of the web. Web and real life cross-pollinate in bigger and bigger swirls. Now, most of us cannot live without features that we didn't know exist 10 years ago. For the future, uh, we work out of some basic assumptions. Every single electronic device will be connected to the World Wide Web. The web will be everywhere, but manifested in less disruptive ways than now. Instead of people stopping in the middle of the sidewalk when they receive a reminder from the smartphone, the device we are momentarily using will use its smarts to support us in more subtle ways. Users will share personal info only to trusted platforms and we will be careful not to give it to just anyone. These trusted platforms will help us in deeper ways than today. Other user interfaces and screen and keyboard will prevail and our bodies will be connected. And with real-time connection and analysis between everything, you will never have to ask if the glass is half full or half empty. The web will have the answer based on physical and physiological data. But how do you design breathtaking or functional experiences for a watch, a light bulb, a trench coat, or a beer glass? With different viewports, the curating of content to show in each item will be crucial. And the systematic approach to design will replace designing for specific screens. The notifications from any source to any interface will be increasingly important and increasingly interactive. With the web going everywhere and with all human info in digital form, web design is merging into design. Whatever designed will have a web component. So is a Nest thermostat or a Tesla dashboard web design or industrial design? With virtual reality going into storytelling, old rules will not apply. Our physical presence in the story will change the story told, personalize it and intensify it. How this all comes down to beauty, we have yet to see. The so notion of beauty, as much as the limits of technology, is diverse and always changing. We are convinced that some of the new interfaces will be powerful and will be perfect for us to enable visually very rich experiences on. Other interfaces will be needing lots of strategic and systematic thought to be effective bearers of information. There will always be need for great stories, well told, and high-end design. But technology will cut through everything, divide and enhance, break down and build up, with automation replacing manpower. Personally, the brighter prediction I can see is the connected world supporting me in subtle, non-disruptive ways to make my life easier and more free. Cleaning up the cluttered life I live today. And the darker prediction is a world with billions of connected devices where the output is automated to supposedly fit me personally and poking at me from any device in my proximity with input coming from other connected, 
algorithm control devices around the world, creating an infinity loop of more and more information with no human contact. Professionally, with more options, more possibilities to play within our world, the game will be bigger, better, more combined, more consequential between different interfaces. And we have endless opportunities with them to, take, to experiment with them to take more steps into the future. Thank you.